Hello there gamers, I am the 8 Ninja, and today we are here with Dungeon of the Endless. A few of you might remember this game from our Month of Giving series, and I have played it and enjoyed it so much since then that I've decided that we're going to do a series on it. Um, alright, let's go ahead and get started here while I talk about this game a bit. Um, so in the Month of Giving series, I really had no idea what I was doing at all, so I kind of did absolutely terribly. Uh, but I have played quite a bit since then, and I think I've gotten better, so hopefully we will do a lot better than we did in that video at least. Uh, because we did not do very well in there. Alright, so, it looks like we have two melee people here. We have one robot and one man. Tro Pekin... Pekinio? Pekinio. Tro Pekinio. And Opbot DV8. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna hopefully get through this first floor at least. That is my, uh, main intention in this run, is just to get through this first floor. Because I don't think we did that in the, in the episode in the Month of Giving. So hopefully, we can at least achieve that, because that was kind of sad. Um... But yeah, I'm not entirely sure how often we will be doing this series, just because of the fact that this game doesn't have all of its features implemented yet. Uh, so we might not do it quite so often. I need to get some stuff up in here to shoot these guys. And I you need to run back here and kill that guy. Okay, there we go. We're good. I was just afraid that guy might get to our crystal and destroy some of our our dust, which is what this stuff is, because uh, that would kind of suck, but oh well, he didn't, so it's all good. Um, so we need a little bit more dust so that we can power this room and get another generator running in there, but for now I think we're just going to take some of these uh, mechanical stocks, no, industry stocks, and set them up in here so that we can make this sort of a choke point of sorts. Uh, that way we can just lure all the waves of monsters back into this room rather than, you know, trying to fight them off in, in their own rooms because that, that does get quite challenging. Um, but we should be fine if we, as long as we stay in here. Let's get this guy in here just to make things a bit easier because there is this guy walking straight through and I hate those guys. I really dislike them at least. Um, Alright, so we need one more dust. We should be able to get this from this room, hopefully. Also, we did get an item, didn't we? Oh, we did. We got a rapier. That is sweet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use that. And we got another item. Uh, and we got ten dust. Okay, so that's really good. What is this? Rice wind? Ah, uh, we can't use that, because that is a ranged weapon, but that's okay. Uh, we can go ahead and power this room now, and I think we'll go ahead and stick a industry generator in there. Uh, and then we can get this robot fella coming over here to help us out over here a bit and then we could should be able to power another room very soon so this is going really well this is a great way to start off the first floor um, we've already found two chests we've got three generators set up we have our, our guns set up and everything uh, so yeah this is a really great way to start it now we gotta pull back from here this is kind of what the, the entire point of this room is is just to sort of come back to it when there's a bunch of monsters like this uh, especially when there's big ones, because then these guys, the big guys, will come up and beat up on this generator, which is fine. The generator doesn't cost us too much. I mean, it's kind of a pain that they destroy it, but it's uh, it's better than them focusing on us, so it's a, it's a really good way of doing that. Okay, there we go. So we got that now, um, and we have two industry generators, so we should be able to get more of that uh, pretty fast. Now, we don't want to just go around spending all of our stocks, though. We want to kind of hang on to our stocks because we can use our stocks in the next floor as well. But our dust, we don't want to hang on to that. We want to find a shopkeeper and spend all of our dust because that does not transfer to the next floor. It's kind of an interesting way of doing it, uh, but it does work quite nicely. All right, so we got one room. I think we can deal with one room without going back. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this guy, this robot guy does not do a whole ton of damage, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. And we got enough to power this room as well, so that's really good, actually. Um, okay, does high damage to enemies in the room? Yes, please. All right, I'm going to go ahead and actually bulldoze uh, a couple of these. Just two of them, I think, uh, just so we can set this up in here, because this is going to be kind of our last defense. Uh, but like I said, we don't want to waste too much of our industry, so I think that should be sufficient for now. Uh, so we'll leave it at there for now. Alright, so we got... Okay, we still have that same weapon. We should probably level these guys up soon, but I prefer to wait until the end of the floor to level them up. That way we can know if there's any new people on this floor, because that is how we actually get new people in our party. Uh, we find them. Alright, so we got a shopkeeper. That is really good. And he has a little pug, too. Look at that. I did never notice that. Okay, so he has a little, he has a little puppy dog. That's pretty amazing. 
Um, a t-shirt and a prisoner's uniform. What is this t-shirt? Uh, negative 2 speed. Do not like that. But 80 max HP is pretty good. And the defense is really good. That's like, that would double this guy's defense pretty much. Uh, and it would more than double that guy. So I think we might go ahead and get that. Of course, we're going to wait till the end of the floor to get it. But we, we do have that as an option now. Um, okay, so how we're going to deal with this. You can see we have these generators over here, which are taking power. And if we disable both of those, we can get power all the way to over here, stopping monsters from getting over here. So I think we're going to go ahead and try that. I'm not entirely sure how well this is actually going to work, but it is something that I want to try. So now no monsters will spawn over here. And the reason that I want that to happen is because the monsters will attack the shopkeeper. And we want the shopkeeper to be alive at the end of the floor. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I think this should be able to do defend on its own with all those weapons we put in there. And there is the end of the floor, actually. So that is uh, that's quite good. Um, got that guy running through really fast, but that's fine. We'll just bring this guy in here. He'll tank all the damage and everything will be good. All right, so this has been pretty easy. It hasn't been too challenging at all, which I, I do like that a lot. Uh, but we are going to keep adventuring. We're going to keep moving on. Uh, is there some someone still alive? Oh, okay, so there's someone... Oh, it's a big guy. Dang it. <laughs> Jerk. He's going in there destroying all of our generators. Luckily, uh, I didn't plan on using those again, so that's uh, totally fine. He's going to punch me in the face a few times, but that's okay. Okay, so I would go ahead and build another generator, but I don't think we will need that because it doesn't look like there's all that many rooms left. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and go with what we have and hope that we are able to defend this. Actually, we need... To... <sighs> We need more power. We need more dust, really, is what we need. Um, hmm. This guy is terrible at fixing stuff, so we're going to get the robot in here uh, because he is much more intelligent. Um, and by that, of course, I mean he actually has higher intelligence, uh, or wit, I suppose it is. Uh, see, this guy has two wit. This guy has 13, so he can fix things a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and bring him back over here, though. Because he's just terrible at fighting, we kind of need him to just keep things from spawning. No, jerk, go over there. Thank you. All right, and the train wants to join us for this first episode, which is totally fine, because things are going really well. All right, so get this guy in here. We're going to open up one more door. I wish we had enough to just power those up so that we could have no monsters spawning in there, uh, but stuff happens, so we can't do that. We can always uh, just heal our guys if we need to. We do have plenty of food, uh, so that's good. All right, so monsters should spawn or they won't okay so they're not gonna spawn that's good um and finding industry is always good Finding industry stocks because that's what they are they're stocks they're not just industry they are industry stocks um okay so we got a few little guys and nothing else has spawned back here luckily I, I'm not entirely sure why nothing else is spawning yet uh, but we're just gonna take it and be happy no 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 don't go over there that is where my my friend is he is my friend Alright, I can take all these little guys on my own. Uh, as for that guy, we'll just run over there to him. Uh, actually, I can I'll just leave those stupid little things. They don't really matter. I mean, that guy over there, he could take the little things, so uh, I think that'll be fine. Okay, get in here. Deal with that guy. Not a chance. Bring these in here. And that should, yes, we have enough dust to power this now. Um... Now, of course, that doesn't really matter all that much because of the fact that we're just going to spend our dust. Uh, but it's still nice to have it, just so we can avoid having a bunch of monsters spawn, rather than just a few. Or having them spawn behind us, rather than just in front of us, like they would be up here. Uh, because having them coming from different directions actually does make it harder, harder than it would seem, at least. Um, Alright, we got seven more. Sweet, we're just getting all kinds of uh, dust. I think we're just going to spend it all. Like, we're going to make, we're going to light a path, like this straight to where we where the exit is but other than that we're just going to spend it all okay eh, come in here i don't want them getting in near the shopkeeper whatsoever all right train i hear you i hear you You're complaining um all right so send that guy back in there we'll get this guy over here to deal with this that guy can deal with the little thing that doesn't matter um all right and that thing should be able to die from just those alone so we'll just leave him and go and deal with this little thing Yep, he's dead. Alright, sweet. So, uh, this is a really, really good first floor because of the fact that none of those guys have actually gotten to our crystal. So, this is a pretty fantastic first floor. The only thing that could get better is if we found another party member before it was over. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to get that fortunate. 
Uh, but you never know. It could happen. This is the last room, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, nope. Just hostile creatures. Oh, and a bunch of creatures are spawning. This is fun. Uh, this is actually not what I wanted here. But I think, I think we should be able to live through it. Uh, let's just go ahead and retreat back into here. Might have to heal this guy up a bit since he's going to be tanking so much damage. Uh, so just get ready to pause once he starts getting low. Okay, heal. Yep. Okay, he should be able to do this. Alright, yeah, he's good. Um, now we just got a bunch of... Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, this, I have to... Okay, let's just look over what all is happening here. I have to lure this guy this way, away from the shopkeeper, while keeping this guy alive. He should be able to live on his own because there's nothing else uh, really coming this way. So if we just bring this guy back over here... Do, do, do. Okay, so nothing is going after the shopkeeper. We're luring them all back here. Um... That thing will then attack the machine, the generator. Alright, so this is good. This is what the pause function is for. So you can just take a minute and figure out exactly what is happening. Because this game can actually be a lot more challenging than you would think. Alright, bring this guy in here, whatever. Uh, they're all dead. Health regenerates. Yes. Okay, so we have a lot of industry and we have a lot of food. Um... Well, I suppose not a lot. We have a decent amount of both, really, but that's fine. So, let's go ahead and buy some stuff, and then we'll set up some smaller weapons throughout this. I think we'll set up some larger weapons right here, uh, but we'll worry about that in a second. We can deactivate that and go ahead and power that. There we go. Um, okay, so I do want to buy this. I'll buy that. Yes. Um, the Soul Taker. What does this actually do? Uh, attack range 1, attack power 38. Attack power, what does this one do? Attack power 12. So this is definitely better than our rapier. So we can always give our, our rapier to the other guy. Make him faster and just better altogether. Uh, I can sell stuff too. Holy crap. I didn't know I could do that. Alright, sell that. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Um, I had no idea that I could do that until right now. Okay, give me that. Yes. And we might as well go ahead and get the prison uniform as well. I mean, we have enough power to power all these things. Uh... All the things that we want to power anyway, so we might as well just buy everything that we can and load our guys up with some pretty sweet items, because it's all going to be gone soon anyways. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get the t-shirt on this guy, because he's kind of my main guy if you can't tell. Uh, I'm using him to scout everything out. The other guy is just going to be sort of a tank. Um, okay, plus five defense, that's going to be good for him, and he can't use the rapier actually. Uh, can he use the soul taker? I don't think he can. He has sort of an odd range about him, so he can't. He can only use some specific weapons. So I think we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we could sell the Soul Taker, but we don't really need to. But I mean, it's gonna disappear. You guys have to understand that all of the items you don't have equipped seem to disappear, or at least I believe that's what happens. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it happens, but that's what seems to happen. Uh, so we're just gonna leave that. That's fine. Okay, so we have all the rooms powered up to where we need to go. Um, let's go ahead and level our guys up at least once. I think once should be fine for this. Uh, that leaves us with 29, just below what we need if we find a new hero on the second floor. Um, so I think we should be good. We're going to go ahead and give it to the robot to take. Um, actually, since we're going to give it to the robot, we're going to go ahead and switch these two out, their armor. Uh, put this one on this guy. That way he has more armor, he can tank more damage if he needs to. And this guy will just be faster so he can go and scout out and kill things. So it's just going to make it a bit easier on us. Um, Put one of those right there. Uh, put some smaller ones. Okay, uh, just two of those. Alright, I think uh, that should be good. That should be fine. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a crystal. Grab that. Bring this guy back here where he's going to need to defend because they will be coming from over here. Uh, now we need, just need to kind of run for it. Now, as we go through the rooms, the rooms will actually power off behind us, the rooms that we just exit. Uh, so we have to be a bit careful about that. Whoa, just freaking glitch something out. Okay, uh, just keep moving. All right, just sit in there, tank the damage. Oh, this guy comes. Yeah, this will be really, really easy. This is like the best I have done on the first floor. Uh, so I'm quite happy about this. No, 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 keep moving. Keep moving. Don't why did you stop moving? Thank you for moving. Okay, that was a bit odd. No, go in here. Just, okay, uh, we made it. Uh, that was, I don't know exactly what happened. That seems to be a bit buggy still, uh, the ending crystal phase. But, oh well, we're not going to complain about it because uh, we clearly, we did it successfully. So let's go ahead and switch out their armor again. 
uh, so we can give this guy his prison uniform again because clearly he has been in prison many times being a robot robots they're very bad very uh very bad okay so <laughs> let's go let's go down i don't know why i always prefer to go down first uh but it seems to work so uh that guy hate him so we're gonna go ahead and just kill him and try not to let him touch it okay he touched it once dang it why did he have to touch the stupid crystal jerk all right so we're gonna actually leave this now now that we have one room figured out down here we're gonna go ahead and set up a generator there and leave it because nothing can spawn in there so i figure that's just the better way of doing it for now um the only thing that could seriously mess up that plan is if we find another one of those jerks who likes to just go straight for the crystal which wouldn't surprise me actually <laughs> um okay so let's go ahead and make this sort of our choke point we're gonna set up one of those I think and eh, let's go ahead and yeah another another eh, another industry generator just because it'll make it a bit easier on us uh, okay so this will be kind of our last line of defense sort of okay so this is this is looking pretty good so far it's kind of the second floor always has more different ways about it so it's not such a simple one direction sort of thing happening uh, not of course the band I did not mean that by any means whatsoever so don't take it that way um, but it you go in many different directions it's sort of like a maze the second floor is uh, at least a lot more so than the first floor alright so we might have to no he'll, he'll be fine he can tank all that damage alright so this is definitely gonna be much more of a choke point than our last room was so let's go ahead and put some stuff in here um, Alright, stick him in here. We could keep going in this direction, but if we don't have enough to light... Nah, we'll go in this direction. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just keep going over here. Um, okay, a dead end. That's actually really good. I, I actually really like finding dead ends, because it's just free power, pretty much, for us. Um, ooh, another prison uniform. This one seems... Is it worse or better? It's worse. Okay. So that's uh, kind of useless for us. But that's okay. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we find worthless things. Um, but an empty room is still a good room. So, because we still get stuff to generate and we find dust from it, so it's always good. You know, no rooms are bad rooms unless they are bad rooms. Yes! I will recruit you, lady. You are on my team, and I will level you up and have a prison uniform, too. Yeah. Alright, sweet. We got uh, another hero, which is really good. She's actually super fast, but I think we're going to keep using this guy to scout out. Just because he's a bit more tanky, and we kind of need that. We need more tanky. Uh, so we'll send her down here, just so nothing spawns in here once again. Um, send him. Wait, let's go ahead and build some more things in here. Alright, one more should be good. I think uh, that'll be enough to hold him off. What does this thing do? I don't know, but we're gonna just take it and go. Alright, so we got one of these guys. He's gonna die really fast. What does this thing do? Increase the damage of heroes in the room. That could be useful at later points, but really I need to see uh, what is on the other sides of these doors first before we do that. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on adventuring with what we have now and not set up any more stuff. Oh, I didn't want to go in that room, but hey, it's a dead end, so dead end. It's good. Uh, like I say, it's always good. Alright, everybody in here, get in here, we got lots of monsters to deal with, we gotta do heavy damage. Okay, so, the only thing I'm really worried about here is if that guy starts beating on our core and actually does some... Okay, no, we'll be able to repair that easily, because this guy is seriously good at repairing things. Um, alright, continuing on, let's go through this door. So I like to kind of clear these out in branches, just to see if we can find the exit early on, because if we can find the exit early on, uh, then we're kind of set. That's kind of the hardest thing. Okay, everybody in here again. Everything dies. And we just kind of repeat this pattern. So, um, this is kind of the reason that I, I don't know how often we will be doing this series. Uh, because there, after the first floor, things start to get less interesting. Um, until you start getting to the later parts of the later floors. Uh, but like at points like this, it's not very interesting. And I think that should change as they add in more content. Uh, but right now, there just isn't enough content in the game to make it like an everyday series like Don't Starve was. Uh, but, you know, I still think we'll play every once in a while, maybe once a week or something like that. Because it's a game that I really enjoy a lot. Also, let me know what you guys think of this game. Leave some comments on what you think of it. Uh, and also, you can buy this game on Steam if you are interested in doing so. Okay, put you down there, you in there. Let's go. We're doing really well. Um, I actually want to power this down here, because if we can get power to this, that's just a free generator, so... 
it's nice to have. Um, okay, so we still gotta go down here and up there. So this is a really big floor. Although, we're finding more and more dead ends, so I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Oh crap, this guy might take some heavy damage on his way back. Uh, get you in there, you in there. Let's go, go, go. Kill him, kill him before they leave. Can't have him getting, okay, they're good. <laughs> Those guys, they're actually really weak. And as we get on later and later, uh, they just become kind of obscure. They're, they're not really obscure, but they're just sort of uh, unthreatening. They're just sort of most threatening on the first floor, and after that, they're kind of worthless. Um, can't really do a whole lot after that. Alright, we only need one person in there now. Let's just leave the robot in here, uh, just so we don't have to run him back and forth, because he's really slow. Okay, hopefully this will be one more dead end, so that we can finish exploring this way. Um, and then after that happens, let's see what we get here. Come on, dead end. Not a dead end. Dang it, there's another door. Alright, back here. So we just need two more dust to power this, and then once we find the dead end on this end, we'll just put a whole bunch of weapons and things like that in here. And maybe if we can find a blueprint to slow things down, then we'll put one of those in here too. Uh, because then just nothing can get through this room. They'll all just die on their own. We won't need to do anything. Uh, which is kind of how I like to play it in the later game. Okay, so put this in here. Ta-da! So you can actually come in here now if you want. Um, and this thing. I still haven't built that thing, but I don't really want to. I don't find that thing all that useful. Alright, again to the next room. It's very exciting. This is the most exciting part of all. Um, okay, but once we start finding things like shopkeepers, that's when the real strategy starts to come into play. Alright, so another dead end. This is good. I like the dead ends. Um, so let's go ahead and stick some more weaponry in here. We'll stick all the weaponry sort of to the back of the room because then we can just hit it uh, from far away without the weapons ever actually taking damage. In case the generator does die, the weapons won't die as well. Uh, it just makes things a bit easier for us. Okay. So now that we are done with that room, we're going to go ahead and head up here and hopefully find just one dead end. That's all that I want to find in this room. Of course, that is somewhat unlikely. Stupid big guys trying to punch out my generators. It's not going to work. Just die. They're getting really close to it, actually. If there was another one, they might have succeeded. Luckily, they didn't. So, hopefully... Ah, not a dead end. Maybe two rooms. If I if we could get two rooms... Oh, a shopkeeper. You know what? Not even going to open that next door, because this guy is safe where he is. So we're just going to leave him there. Uh, we're going to set up some more guns in here. Um, I think we'll leave the robot in here as well, just to sort of tank some damage. Uh... Let's see what this shopkeeper actually has for sale. A first aid kit? That's a thing? Oh, it gives you HP regen. Oh, I want that. I want that. This guy has some seriously good stuff. A thing. What does this do? Attack cooldown negative 0 0.1. HP regen 0 and speed 2. So that's not quite so good. But the H the first aid kit, that thing sounds amazing. Um, tool, pill, tool belt, not that useful. Attack power. So this thing, uh, I believe we already have one of these, but we can always use it on the girl. So we'll see about that later in the game. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as it is. Um, and actually, we might can we're, we'll definitely go on to this next room after we get enough dust to do so. But for now, we're just gonna leave it there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you back here. Yeah, bring you back here and stand in this room so that we can get someone else to tank the damage, because we're going to go down this way. Um, and if we do get a whole bunch of those guys who like to go straight for the crystal, we need someone to uh, deal some more damage to them. Sweet! Okay, so just an empty room. Uh, and I have to put power into this room, so... Uh, I have to, or things will spawn in there, that is. Okay, everybody in here. Let's go, go, go! This robot is totally fine on his own, because these things are focusing down the generator. Uh, but we could just rebuild that generator. I mean, that is no big deal for us. Actually, that was a uh, food generator. So we'll just rebuild that, and everything will be fine. He's punching it down already, but it's regenerating. Yes! Okay, I love that. Love that a lot. Okay. Um, Alright, so this room should be good. We found another dead end down here, which I love. Um, so now we just have to check up here, but I don't like checking those rooms next to the crystal. It's just, it makes it a bit harder, just because things can go straight for the crystal, and it makes it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but if we bring her in here, and we can bring the robot in here as well, but I think we'll, we're just better off leaving him in there in case things spawn. So we're gonna go over here. Let's do it, let's do it. Come on, nothing bad, nothing bad. What? You have gotta be, that's the, okay. Fine by me, fine 
by me. Okay, so that just got a whole lot easier. The exit is right next to uh, the crystal. That is just, that's stupid easy. We literally just have to take it one room over. Um, so, GG, well played. That was not, I think that shouldn't, I think they'll probably change it so that that can't happen uh, later in development. But for now, I'm just going to not complain about it because it's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, okay, so now our entire goal on this floor is just to get more dust. So um, <clears throat> we don't really have to waste any more of our stocks, like our industry and things like that. We can just leave those where they are because we don't need any more defenses. Um, so we're really good. We're in a really good place. So we're just going to keep on adventuring to the next rooms and uh, keep on defending. Because that's all we can do. I mean, there's no need to do anything else. I mean, this is just so easy. It's just so easy. It's amazing. Um, all right, what do we got in here? Nothing. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's go ahead and just power that room. Just because we can. Uh, robot is going to die. Crap. You know what? You go ahead and pull back over here. Oh, crap. You're really low on health. I'll just use that one just to heal him up a bit. All right, yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, I think we pulled him out just in time. Luckily, I didn't get him killed, so we're good. Uh, I would build, you know what, we don't even need more food. <laughs> we have so much food, we don't need more food. Uh, we do need to level these guys up, but once again, we're going to wait until the end. Wait, no, robot, you stay. You stay there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do one guy here. Actually, we're going to go to the left, because I think it seems like it's more likely to be a dead end, uh, so we might as well. And this room seems like it's going to go to behind this guy, and I don't know if I want that to happen so much. More food, because we needed more food. Yes, of course. Um, okay, so now we have our heroes taking all of the damage, which I don't like that quite so much because of the fact that they do so much damage. Uh, power that room just so things can't spawn over there for now. Um, we are getting ridiculous amounts of dust, and we are going to spend every penny of it because we have no use for it anymore. Because of the fact that that thing spawned right there, man, that <laughs> puts us in such a good position. It's kind of great. Alright, and that is the end of that wave, so head back over here again. Leaving the girl again because, you know, she's good at defending, so why not? Um, I would like to get one of those things, uh, some more blueprints on this level, but, you know, that doesn't always happen, so uh, we should be fine without them anyways. Okay, we got things spawning back here for once. That means I'm going to have to defend against them. Uh, I don't know if this guy can actually do that. Oh, sure he can. Eh, I just need to watch everybody's health and pause if they get too low. Okay, okay, what's happening down here? Uh, she is going to die. So let's pull her back. She's really fast, so she should be able to get out of there, no problem. Uh, this guy's just going to keep defending, tanking all that damage. Ooh, okay, heal him. Just want to be certain that he won't die. He can do that. Nice work. Nice work, Robo Man. Okay, so I'm trying to spend as little uh, of my food as possible, although we have plenty of food in case uh, things go bad. But, of course, they regenerate after each thing so there's no real reason to spend a whole bunch of food on healing them uh, especially not all the way because that's just not necessary uh, but we do need to stop exploring this so much soon because of all these waves uh, they're kind of getting to the point of where they are going to kill us uh, can this guy actually do this can he tank all that much damage okay he is definitely taking whoa she just dropped health like crazy fast okay heal her up um <clears throat> Let's go ahead and build this just so that it can take some damage. Okay, gosh, she is dying fast. Okay. I just need to keep healing her when she gets too low. Because this is how we're going to have to do this. I mean, we have plenty of food, so this is no real problem. Uh, okay, so we can pull her out now, now that the, most of them are dead. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that was well played. Well played. GG. Um, how's this guy doing up here? He's good? Okay. Robot can tank that damage. Yep. Alright, sweet. So that is good. This is an empty room back here. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, it looks like we just have a little bit more to explore. We have this one room. It might be one room. It might be more. Uh, kind of hard to tell. But since none of these other rooms attached to it, I'm going to assume it's uh, one large room. It's kind of what it seems like at least. Uh, it'd have to be a very large room. So it's probably more like two rooms. Uh, but we should be able to survive through that. Uh, let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's build one of these. 
just so that we can have more regeneration of that and that thing can tank more damage because those guys are dying in there too quickly yeah it's two rooms okay two rooms should be no problem though oh can this guy do this can he do this uh man I hate these things okay that's not gonna oh okay get you back here you chick come here okay robot is dying quickly destroy that thing kill him kill him kill him no stop attacking my core you butt I hate your face I hate your face okay we're good uh, robot is doing a really good job at tanking damage this guy is seriously tanky. Why is he so tanky? It's kind of crazy. Um, okay, I suppose I should probably help him out. I mean, uh, he's just kind of in there doing it all on his own. So, okay. We'll lend him a helping hand. Um, okay, so that thing didn't die. That's really good. That means we're getting more industry stocks. So, let's go on to this next room. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so I, I was planning on doing this all just one run each episode, but because this is going so well, we might have to separate this into two runs, or two episodes, I mean. Uh, I was not expecting this to go this well. Okay, so that guy is good. Yep. Okay. Uh, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Yeah, I need the robot to tank. Really need the robot to tank. Okay, they're all gonna die. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, one of them left. Sweet. Ah, I just can't have... Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and heal her. I just feel safer when she has health. Uh, it's just much better. Okay, power that room. Let's go shopping. Wait, just... Uh, no, let's not open that door. Because I think that actually could cause more things to spawn, and we don't need that to happen. Especially if we can avoid it just easily by going around. And look at the freaking pug! I love that. I love it so much. He's got a stupid little pug right there. It's awesome. Um, Alright, so we're going to buy this. Uh, yes, I want to buy that. Uh, I suppose we could just buy all of these. I mean, we have no reason not to, so just buy everything. Alright, so I want to give the extra HP regen to this guy. Yes, 8 HP regen is pretty fantastic. Uh, the tool belt to this guy because he's kind of our mechanic. Um... Yep, more wit is always good. And this, to you, I don't even know what it does. It gives you, you can be super fast. Super fast. Alright, so we actually have space for each one of those items. Uh, so this is going really, really well. So, how we're going to play this is we're just going to get our fastest girl. Yes, we're going to take her, and she's going to pick up the crystal, and that is it. <laughs> that is it. That is everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually light up the closest rooms. So we'll light up that room. Uh, leave that room lit. We'll get the shopkeeper killed. Don't care about him. Uh, light up that one. Sure. That's good. Okay, so now she will pick up the crystal. Pick it up and take it straight in here. Look at how fast she is. So, easy peasy. Done. GG, well played. That is going to be the end of this episode, though. Oh, man, 30 minutes. Okay, I can I can do that. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. It's a game that I enjoy a whole lot, and you guys should definitely see more, hopefully. Uh, just let me know what you guys think of this game, because I, I love it. I love this game. It's fantastic so far, and I cannot wait to see what else they add, because... I love it so far. It's great. It's probably one of my favorite indie games that is currently in development. Um, so that's saying a lot, especially for me, because I look at a lot of indie games. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. You can buy this game on Steam Early Access. There is, of course, a link in the description below. That's going to be it for today, though. Peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.